Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Tool Panel in After Effects. So friends, in this video, we are going to learn Tool Panel. So here on the top of the interface, you can see these are the tools in the Tool Panel. So first is an Home Tool, which is normally used for going to the Home Page. Okay. Next is Selection Tool. So what is the tool name is? If you are putting your mouse pointer over here you can see the name of this tool which is called selection tool and shortcut for this tool is V so if I'm just click on this and this is my footage video footage just drag it on this composition so as you can see my composition is still there but my footage is moving okay so I'm just putting right over there okay now if you want to fit these footages then just click ctrl alter and f so it will be fit on this composition ctrl alter f okay these are the shortcut for fit to composition okay next tool is hand tool and shortcut of this tool is h so just click on this and you can see the hand icon on your composition panel just drag it so as you can see now our full composition is moving sometimes you want to work on this particular area then you just select the hand tool and move your composition anywhere so these are our hand tool and the shortcut for this tool is H now next tool is zoom tool now this is a very common tool for zoom in and zoom out so you can also zoom in and zoom out from your scroll bar from your mouse you can also click like this to zoom in and just press alter to zoom out so these are the normal tool which you also learn in Adobe Photoshop so you just have to work on this just go through these tools and you will learn a lot about these tools so our next tool is the rotational tool and the shortcut for this tool is W so just click on this tool and as you can see now you can rotate your footage so as you can see your footage is rotating from this corner because our anchor point is over here so if you want to put your anchor point then just click on this other tool which is called pan behind anchor point tool and shortcut for this tool is Y just click here and as you can see you can just drag your anchor point to anywhere on the footage for now I'm just putting over here and now if I'm clicking on this rotational tool so as you can see now my footage is moving from the particular anchor point just fit this footage on the comp now I'm again using this so as you can see this is rotating okay so it is rotating in XY position so next tool is orbit camera tool here you can see there is little small arrow which is what what it will say it is said there are other property inside this tool so just long press on this and you can see there are other three properties like orbit camera tool track xy tool track z camera tool now what is this z this is z axis z axis of this particular footage now to use the camera first you have to create the camera so you can create the camera by the two way right click on here and select new and create the camera okay here you can just select the camera name I'm selecting tool panel test one okay and just press okay there are different different properties over here this will you will learn in our upcoming video in depth for now just uh, rename the name and press okay so our camera is created over here so guys for use this uh, camera first of all you have to create 3d layer so i'm just select selecting my uh, footage and clicking over here these are the different different tools i'm just uh, first of all making it a little lighter so this is uh, our uh, draft 3d okay here it will call a 3d layer just click on this layer by clicking on here so now our uh, footage is become 3d so as you can see there are x y and here the z axis is also appear if you want to see you can go to this property and here you can see x rotation y rotation and z rotation so that z axis is coming in our footage so now our layer is become 3d 
so now you can use your camera so in this camera there is a three other property orbit camera tool which is simply a rotation so just uh, click on this orbit camera tool and if you move you can see your footage is, is moving in the all dimension so before it will just uh, rotate in the x and y now you can rotate in anywhere okay so this is the rotational camera we are rotating the camera but you have a question of how where we can see our camera so right now it is our active camera that's why you cannot see our camera to, to see the camera we can we need to change the view so i will show you the two view one view is our active view and second view or a horizontal view so from the horizontal side we will see our camera so guys as you can see this is our camera and this thick line is our footage just because we rotate it right now ah uh, so now it is set okay so as you can see we are not moving our footage in this tool selection rotation tool in this tool we are moving our footage is but in camera tool our footage is there we are moving camera so as you can see the camera movement is there okay so next we are going to see there is a track x and y so our, our camera is moving in x and y position see here you can see our camera is moving in x and y position now in active camera people is think like okay we are moving our footage but no we are not moving our footage we are moving the camera in x and y position okay next is z axis now normally we are putting x and y axis now what is this z axis we are moving our footage in z axis so if you are just clicking like this you can see we are zoom in and zoom out in the active camera but in the horizontal top view you can see our camera is moving in z direction okay so this is not a scaling but we are moving our camera so these are the three different property of camera so next tool is pan behind tool which already we learn for now we are just delete our camera and making the one active view so these are the anchor point these are the anchor point just clicking on these or pressing y you can change your anchor point now i'll give you the small demo how you can use your anchor point right now i'm just creating this shape okay i'm creating a shape layer the for the shape layer just layer new and shape okay for creating a different shape i am creating a rectangle okay so in this rectangle the anchor point is here now i want to change my anchor point then click on this pen behind tool and move your anchor point to for example here and if i am rotating or moving just uh, select the rotational camera tool and as you can see my rectangle is moving for that particular anchor point now i am putting my anchor point on a center and now if i am using this rotational tool then as you can see my object is moving from the center okay so these are the anchor point tool just i am deleting this uh, next is we are going to learn rectangle tool in this rectangle tool there are different properties like rectangle tool rounded rectangle tool ellipse tool polygon tool and star tool so these are of other different properties in this tool this tool is normally used for the shape as well as for creating a mask so i am just uh, creating layer new layer and make it shape layer so you can create a different different shape like a uh, rectangle tool rounded rectangle tool next is a uh, round we can also say ellipse now sometime you see this is not creating properly if i want to exact shape that will be not created because you can using your using this from your mouse now while you're creating this shape just press shift so it will be automatically automatically created a perfect round same for the other also if i am creating a star tool then as you can see my star is not properly created so i am just pressing shift so it will be create up properly okay so this normally i am creating a shape now this same tool you can also create for making a mask so just create a, uh, select your footage and uh, create any of this like i am create a rectangle tool 
then this is the mask is created just uh, select the selection tool and you can also move your mask as you can see you can move your mask around this okay so in this mask there are different properties like a mask path mask feather mask opacity and mask expansion you can expand your mask from the mask opacity you can opaque your mask you can also apply the feather okay and this is a mask path sometime you want to animate your mask so using this mask path you can create a keyframe and giving a mask path so I'm showing you the other shape like I'm creating a star tool so our mask is created like this okay so this is a shape tool next is pen tool this pen tool is we already learned in Adobe Photoshop in the Photoshop we are also running this pen tool text tool shape tool and other different different tool which are also already mentioned in Adobe After Effects but there are the advanced tool now I am using this pen tool to create a different shape over here manually like this now after jointing this this will become a shape okay now you can also add the vortex now as you know that you if you already learn the photoshop you will see this is called a vortex okay so from here there are different properties like add vortex delete vortex convert vortex mask feather tool different different properties over there so if you want to add the vortex just click like this and you can add the vortex if you want to remove it then just select the delete vortex so our next tool is a uh, text tool we can also here there are different properties like horizontal type tool and vertical type tool so you can create your text in either the horizontal version or a vertical so for now I'm just deleting this mask just deleting this mask and fit my footage on the composition okay so I'm just click on this text tool and click on my composition here you can see my name is Rishi I am now there are different different properties in a text tool if you go to the uh, right click on it you can see a vertical type tool if you click on this hello okay now there are different property if you see the right side there are uh, too many properties of this text tool which we are going to learn in our next topic which is called a work panel in the work panel we are going to see all this property of our text tool so for now I'm just showing you how to creating the text tool now the shortcut to create the text layer is control Alt-Alt shift and then press T so directly I can create my text okay by the selection move tool you can also move my layer <coughs> so for now I'm just delete this now after this tool there are different uh, advanced tool like brush tool clone stamp tool eraser tool roto brush tool and puppet position pin tool so this is all we are going to learn in our upcoming videos okay so because these all are the advanced topic and every tool have the different video so these all in our tool panel in the next video we are going to learn a work panel so thank you so much guys see you in the next video